Hello everyone and welcome to my studio, The Pottery Corner, down on the south coast of England near Chichester. Today we're doing another kiln glaze fire opening. Uh, so the kiln is down to 51 degrees centigrade, um, so we're ready to open. And the majority of the pieces in this kiln are actually my work, which makes a very a big change. Um, I'm getting ready for a, um, a We Create market, which is on in South Sea next weekend. Uh, so if you're a local person, it's at Handley's Corner, which is was the Debenham store in South Sea. So do come down and have a look. Have a look at the We Create website and you'll find the information on there. Right, so let's get on. This is um, a textured platter. It's been on a prop. So as you can see, the reason why I wear my gloves, there are three very sharp pins on the back of this where the, the kiln prop has come off. Sometimes it just leaves these little shards. So I wear my gloves so that I don't actually um, puncture my fingers. Now this dish is uh, done with a textured roller and this is Amico's new glaze called Deep Sea. It's actually really nice. I did a test tile of it and thought what a lovely blue it was. So nice in the texture, um, a nice platter and that's actually catching on the gloves as well. So my finger really would be ripped to shreds. So that's a nice platter, very, very good and very saleable. Um, quite a lot of the things in here are mono printing. As you know, I've started um, doing mono printing, which I absolutely love. It is my new passion. And again, this has been stood on a, on a prop. And again, I don't know whether you can see that on there, but it leaves these very nasty, um, shards on the back so that's why I'm wearing my gloves it's not because the work is hot right so this is a mono printed slab um, which I've used coloured slip to produce um, and this is my new line of work so I'm really into this mono printing it's absolutely fantastic and if you can see the details on here there's a crab here and there's a lobster here um, so it's kind of got sort of a sea feel to it. Um, so that one is really lovely. I love the orange, really bright and vibrant on there. Really nice, like that a lot. Um, this is uh, a, a platter, a flat moulded platter with a different piece of um, mono printing on it. This particular piece um, was inspired by Noel Fielding wearing a shirt on Bake Off. So sometimes it's surprising where your ideas come from. And, and this one is slightly more muted, actually. I really like the colours on this one. This one has not been stood on a prop, so um, I don't have to worry so much about my fingers on here. But the yellow really pops on it, and the uh, honeycomb stencil and what have you is really pretty, so I'm really pleased with that. Of course, you never really know, a bit like Forrest Gump, never really know what you're going to get until you actually open the kiln and see the colours of the um, slip as they've come out. So... Yeah, very pleasing, like that a lot. That's a lovely dish. Uh, this one, harking back to our um, go with mono, um, with um, mocha diffusion. Now this on the outside of the dish is Amoco's June Bug. So this is a relatively new Amoco glaze. Uh, there, it, it's interesting because on the side where there are crystals, I hope you can see that, that there's quite a lot of kind of motley crystals on this section across the middle here. But as I rotate the bowl, there are no crystals on that side. And I'm presuming that it's where it's got hotter or cooler indeed. Um, and then the mocha diffusion in the middle, this mocha diffusion was done with... Uh, chromium carbonate so the green powder I have to say the actual process of mono diffusion is really interesting uh, in terms of putting the slip on the bowl so this green background is a green slip um, but I have, I have to say I'm not particularly keen on how the actual uh, mocha diffusion bit comes out it's a bit um, insipid um, but the green, the, the Amoco's June bug on the outside is really nice, lovely dark green. And as I say, where it has the crystals, it's, it's really nice, sort of almost like a gunmetal 
um, finish on it. So yeah, very nice, um, but not overly um, impressed with the Mocha Diffusion, but I suspect if we have another go um, that it might come out slightly differently. So we'll give it another go. Right, I'm just putting my gloves on to lift the shelf out because the shelves are quite warm, because obviously they're quite thick. So, right, so in here are more of the... Sorry, I'll just get the props out. Um, so that is another piece um, with that same um, slab that we were just looking at on the other oval platter. So again, that's really nice. And I use lots of different textured um, mats and stencils and all sorts of things when I'm mono printing. And I just love the way that it comes out looking like, um, you know, like a graffiti artist has done it along a railway. So I'm really, really enjoying doing that. This I think might be stuck to the pion shelf. Oh no, but luckily it's not, so that's good. This is on a, again, on a prop. And again, a lovely uh, shard on there. So that is a bigger platter using the same um, piece as the previous dish. Uh, this one has a lobster and there's a seahorse there and a seahorse up there and a big crab on here and a crab on there. So actually really lovely and I love this um, this square texture here which has been made by using um, a pan liner from Poundland, my favourite shop, love Poundland. Um, so you can actually find quite a lot of your sort of textury bits in unusual places. Um, kitchen shops are very good. Uh, Keely, if you're watching, this is the very first of your finished pieces. So Keely has been to do a, an introduction to hand building course um, and the first uh, lesson were pinch pots. So she's made uh, a little uh, poppy head to stand on a cane in the garden. So it will go on a cane above a flower bed, a flower pot on the patio or whatever. Now Keely came and she's done quite a lot of cake decorating in the past and actually <laughs> When she sat and did this in about five minutes flat, I thought to myself, she's going to do really well at pottery because, you know, the, there is a crossover in techniques. Um, and she's put this lovely texture pattern on here. So, Keely, if you're watching, that's the very first of your pieces and very lovely it is too. So I hope that you are watching, obviously. Um, and if you're not, I might send you a message just to say you should be watching. Right, so let's get this uh, second shelf out. There we go. Ooh, lovely. Right, on, on, on the same vein, there are more of Keeley's oops, pieces in here. That's me knocking a prop inside. Don't worry, nothing broken. Uh, so that's the second of Keeley's pieces. This one is, oh, actually, I should have said the pink. This pink one is Amco Weeping Plum. Uh, so that's three coats of that on there. This one is Amoco Downpour. Again, three coats on there, and again, nice texture, lovely shape, nice top. That'll look lovely in the garden. And the last one of hers is this one. Just take the cookie off the bottom. Uh, and I can't actually remember what that was. Nice, whatever it is. It's oatmeal and something. It might be a chun plum and oatmeal. Not sure. No, no, there was blue rutile in it somewhere. So it looks like it might be chun plum and blue rutile, I think. So again, that's the third of those. So very successful, Keely. And Keely is coming back to do a throwing course, so very keen to learn more techniques in clay, so that's good. This is the last of the platters in of that particular mono printing slab. And as I was saying about Noel Fielding's shirt, on the first episode of Bake Off 2020, I couldn't stop myself from looking at it because it had these round circles on it. You're going to think I'm bonkers, aren't you? But well, I am bonkers. You know I'm bonkers. Um, but actually, it's surprising where, where that comes from. And this piece has been made on white body uh, hand building clay, earthstone hand building clay. Um, and then I've made my own coloured slips. And the darker colour, the dark, so the dark chocolate brown colour is actually made from black clay slip. Um, so that has come out really well. I'm really pleased with that. Lovely colours on there. And they look, actually, they look really nice together. So you never know, you look, somebody might buy the two. Right, on the same vein of mono printing, and this one is absolutely beautiful and probably the nicest one so far. Um, again, 
there we are that's another mono printed um, bowl platter whatever um, and on this one I've just used some sort of flower motifs um, and very subtle colours on there there's some sort of beautiful lemon colours and um, in case you can see her Sissy the Sissy the studio dog has just joined us hello Sissy whoops careful don't knock anything over um, so that one is really lovely and I actually really like the the raspberry colour of this slip which is really very nice beautiful so yeah very pleased with that one that one actually is really lovely quite subtle and this vase that sort of sat on the side here waiting to go in the glaze firing kiln is the same um, piece of mono printed clay so that looks like that vase is going to be a good one so that's nice to know uh, and last shelf out got a lot of stuff in here right okay and I know my lovely sister watches my videos and this is my lovely sister's piece uh, it's a little leaf dish with um, using one of my textured sprigs so that we use a leaf cut out and then she's textured the slab popped a few little feet on it so it stands up makes a nice tea light holder or even a, you know a little soap dish in a guest bathroom or whatever and the combination on here is um, Amoco Rainforest with Amoco Snow over the top. And that's a really good combination and one that we use quite a lot in the studio. Lots of the students like it. So actually it's, it's really pretty. So yeah, that's a goodie, Carol. That one's come out really well. Uh, this is one of the platters by the... Um, I had recently hosted a 30th birthday party for some lovely ladies. We had such fun. It was great. Um, and they came and they, they had a day here and they did uh, throwing and uh, platter making, textured platter making. And um, so half of them were throwing in the morning and half of them threw in the afternoon and they swapped over. So it was really, really good. And this is um, a platter used, um, made using one of my hand-built slump moulds. Um, and then textured with my original um, unique textures. So, I mean, how lovely to come to a party with your girlfriends and, uh, and make something like that that you have to take home. I mean, beautiful, really beautiful, a lovely colour. That's Amoco Fog. And again, that's a, that's a glaze we use lots of in the studio and a really good size. And fancy coming to the table with something on that and when everybody oohs and ahs over it saying, Oh, I made that. How lovely. I mean, she'll be absolutely delighted, and so she should be. It's really beautiful. Um, and the last thing in here, Emma, are your test tiles. Um, I don't know uh, what the glazes are, but these are, I think they're all Mako, but you could, uh, you could uh, say that was wrong. There's a, well, that's quite nice. There's a matte white. I don't know what that, that's number 12, Emma, if you want to look it up. Quite nice, that, actually, that matte white. This one is number 13 and again quite a nice stony colour on there and then that one's sort of like a matte version of the previous one so that's number 15 and this one is number 14 quite a nice turquoise colour interestingly yes you can stop barking thank you sissy mm, a little bit paler perhaps than the Amoco deep sea but nice nonetheless um, some of my students bring their own glazes and they're very welcome to do so unless of course they run on my kiln shelves in which case I do have to reprimand them quite substantially. Uh, so that's all that's in there today. Uh, I now have two kilns, Mungo and Midge, and Mungo and Midge have been working back to back to um, get through uh, all of this work that is waiting to be done. So there's a there's a biscuit um, kiln that's nearly ready to load and then I've got glazing over here um, and there's quite a few of my, uh, my more mono printing pieces on the shelves um, which you know they, they just have to earn their keep my kilns I'm afraid that they just get used and abused um, so that's a lot happening as usual at the pottery corner uh, have a look at the website which is www.thepotterycorner.co.uk uh, the courses are listed on there. Um, I am going to put up some new um, single morning or single afternoon courses for people to buy for presents for Christmas. 
Um, although it's only just the start of October, we do have to think about this, don't we? Um, so have a look at those. It's always nice to buy somebody a doing present um, and let them come to the studio and have a go. So it's great fun and, and, and hopefully they'll get a passion for clay out of it. Um, my own work, um, including the mono printing dishes and things, will be listed on the online shop. Um, and then there will be Top Tip Tuesday videos coming up if you keep your eye out. So therefore, subscribe to my channel and uh, pop the bell on or, you know, whatever, and then it'll notify you when... <laughs> sorry, Sissy's clearly not happy. There must be somebody outside. Um, it'll notify you when there's another video um, up on my channel. So very good to see you all. Do comment and let me know what you think. Um, as I say, the mono printing is just great and eventually I'll get round to doing a video on the on the whys and wherefores of mono printing. So, but in the meantime, a, a great haul of mono printing pieces for me, which is lovely. Anyway, thank you all for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.